Engage them. Quote them. Follow them. Listen. Open minds. Dear Lovelin, you have been cordially invited to take part in the Friday Stand-In Challenge. I accept the challenge. She's a very passionate person, specifically when it comes to conviction. She's an extremely co courageous person. Like when I met her at orientation, she came up to me and introduced herself, all because she said I was, I looked like I was the strongest black person in the room, and she wanted to get to know me. Her speech was actually titled "Courage, Compassion, and Complexity." That's exactly who she is. I think she was the first woman and first black woman to speak at the Stellenbosch convocation. It was really starting to critically speak to the social conscience of South Africans on issues relating to race and issues relating to equity. She's originally Nigerian, grew up in South Africa in Grahamstown. She, it's almost like she's looking at South Africa from an outside perspective in, but also has the insider's perspective because she's lived the South African story. I want to be remembered as someone who speaks my truth and is honest at all times, um, no matter how difficult it is to be. In general, I'm very much inspired by the lives of women. I think that women have a very specific lived experience um, and to see how people like struggle and get through that and build families with or without support from the extended community is always very inspiring for me. I try to be active on social media. I'm not very good at it, but I am there. <laughs> I've never done any work for radio at all. I think what's cool is that you get to hear so many different perspectives. I hope that she brings her theoretical knowledge, but also her knowledge of the global scale and the complexities of conflicts that have happened and how those were actually resolved so that we as South African can be, begin to understand and at least learn how other countries have dealt with their issues so that's what I really hope she brings. The core conversations that we often shy away from are actually discussed. I love heated discussions on air. For me it says that there's an element of honesty and truth in what's being discussed. So it means that we're becoming a little bit more vulnerable, a little bit more honest with each other. Standing in for Ridi Kabi, the Friday Stand-In. Hashtag Friday Stand-In.